Do you want to learn how to multi-stream? Today, I will show you, in my opinion, the best and easiest way to start. Let's do it. First, go to streamelements.com slash SE Live, and then click on the button that says download SE Live for Windows, or if you have a Mac, you can download it for your Mac. This plugin works with Twitch, X slash Twitter, Kick, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Trovo. Once you downloaded it, install it. Once everything is downloaded, you should have a new window in your bottom corner of your OBS, Stream Elements Multi-Stream window. It should look kind of like this. I just want to say today we'll be focusing on Twitch and YouTube. But of course, if you want to use one of the other platforms, you can just select it by clicking plus, then choosing one of the platforms you would like to multi-stream to and adding it. When you click on the little button, the blue one, you kind of like check that it's enabled and you can stream to it. If you uncheck it, it means that you are not streaming to that platform. The platforms that you want to multi-stream, you have to log in and authorize before you can stream. So make sure to do that. <laughs> so now you've chosen the platforms you want to multi-stream to. Next part will be setting up your canvas for that platform or platforms that you want to stream to. All your platforms can have separate canvases, but today we will be focusing on just one. Click on the dots on the sign, then go settings. You will have another window opening up. In this window, you can adjust the soundtrack, output, and overall settings for it. The important thing here is if you want to, for example, have a sound on your Twitch stream that you do not want to be included in your VON or YouTube stream, you know, different platform streams, you can select that track here. But this requires setting it up uh, in OBS first. So you separate the tracks in OBS and then you select the track that is separated in this canvas over here. So for example, for me, I have a track 3 that does not include the sounds that I don't want to include and then the rest of the tracks are not being played on the stream because I selected the one track that I want to be playing and that one I adjusted to my liking, right? In canvas settings, you basically adjust if you want to stream in horizontal or vertical. Vertical is like for TikTok or YouTube short while horizontal is basically for everything else. So if you want, for example, to stream to TikTok at the same time as you stream to YouTube, you can make multiple canvases. So you can then make two different canvases, one vertical, one horizontal, and you can split everything up. So only certain things and the ones that you want to be streamed are streamed to those platforms. You simply just switch these two and then you have the canvas that you want. When you scroll down in the same window, there will be settings for recording. But if you're not intending to record that specifically, I would just ignore these settings. Then we can click on advanced settings. I would try to keep these settings as similar as you can to your OBS settings. The last setting here will be the scene transition setting, which basically is like, do you want to use the same transitions as you have on your OBS? If you click yes, it will use the same transitions. We move on to broadcast settings, which basically now is your best friend if you want to multi-stream. <laughs> Here you can adjust your title for all the platforms you want to multi-stream at once. So you don't have to go separately into Google, searching it up, writing it all down, you know. Here you have one window for all the platforms at once, so you can also choose the category you want to stream into. Once everything is done, click save. Once you have all the platforms ready, you should have a new window called Stream Elements Canvas. It looks kind of like this. Canvas is basically your new OBS stream window that you stream with. This is basically what your platforms see as a stream. It's separated from your OBS. Here we have to set up the scenes again. Yours will be empty, but mine has like a lot of stuff on it, you know? To do that, you go into that little plus button, then you click Add. See, there you write, for example, be right back. You click add scene. Then you click the dots, add source. In that add source, you have to scroll down until you see scene. 
add the scene. That basically means that you're adding one of the scenes that you already made in your OBS. So for me, I'm going to be adding the be right back scene. I click add source and now you can actually link your be right back with your OBS be right back. So if you switch to be right back there, the canvas one also switches. So it's connected. So you don't have to click separately. You go into the dots again, then you click on link scene. Then you choose the scene that you want to link, which for me will be the be right back one. Another new window is activity feed which is your new activity feed for the platforms that you have selected. This is where you can see if someone has subscribed or followed or basically what happened in your activity feed. Another window is your new multi-stream chat. This is where you can, if you click on filter and then you can kind of like, you know, select the platform that you want to see in your chat. For me, I have YouTube and Twitch. I can unselect, select. But here I see all the messages in one box instead of having to look at all the chats separately. This window is only visible for you. No one else can see this window. The platforms are still separated, but for you, they show in one. That covers the most of it. Congratulations! You know how to multi-stream now. Let's go! If you have any other questions or you've been wondering about something that I have not shown in the video, you can leave it in the discord discord.gg slash naysay or just leave it in the comments below and i will try my best to answer thank you so much for watching this video i was happy to have you here like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye for now